I knew from junior high or on that I wanted to join the military, and I thought I was going to join the Air Force. But when I went to join the Air Force, they had filled their quota of women. So then I started thinking, well, gosh, I've always liked the water. On September 11th, I'll just remember it as so many of us do, as a beautiful morning in Washington, D.C. We started out at the Pentagon and got in our cars and went to Andrews Air Force Base and took off and we were over the Atlantic Ocean. We have information that a plane has crashed into the side of the That's World That's when Center. I started to really search for answers to questions. Is this life all there is? Why did some people die? Why were some people in the wrong place and others survived? And I realized then, life is too short. And Ty and I had had this dream to go cruising on our sailboat for years. And 9-11, that made it very clear, it's time to go. I am sailing across the Atlantic Ocean! This whole time, we had contact with our family by email, and we got an email from Ty's daughter, Elizabeth. Well, when we made the call, uh, Warren answered, and I just said, basically, hey, Warren, how's everything going? And he said, not going well. And then uh, Ty, he turned to me and he said, Susan is gone. Instantly, I just wanted to protect him and just put my arms around him and, and put my hands over his ears so he couldn't hear it. And, that's when I knew all these books that I had read about mediumship and all these thoughts about the afterlife, I was going to now track that down. I now had a reason to find out if this was real. You know, we can tell people that this is real, but until they have a personal experience, you probably won't change their lives. So unless someone received a very evidential mediumship reading, a lot of times it doesn't change their belief system about life after death. I'm looking around thinking, oh, some of these people in this room are probably mediums. I can't wait to see what happens. And all of a sudden, Janet points right at me and she said, Suzanne, you come up here. I thought I was just going to be writing about it, and all of a sudden I was doing it. I've never been one to do anything halfway. So I knew that I needed to follow this path. 